rate and time dependence this one is for second order reaction now so let's read the problem the rate constant for a second order reaction 2NO2 to give 2NO plus oxygen is 0 0.54 per molar at 300 degrees Celsius you will see that the time uh, that the temperature is given to you for most cases but we're not going to use that until we get to the temperature dependence and reaction rates so right now we're still in time how long in seconds will it take for the concentration of nitrogen dioxide to decrease from 0 0.65 to 0 0.18 molar <clears throat> so again as I said there are equations for this one and so you find the equation and the equation for our second order is 1 over A is equal to 1 over A original plus KT. Okay, so that is your second order time dependence equation. And so our final concentration is given to us 0 0.0, excuse me, 0 0.18 molar is equal to the original concentration that is given to us is 0 0.65 molar right here plus KT and K is 0 0.54 and that is per molar and then time is what we are calculating for. Okay, so I will leave you to do the calculations yourselves uh, because it's a simple algebra problem and your final answer should come out to be t is equal to 7.4 seconds okay all right so simple now in an exam I'm going to give you these equations you just have to figure out which equation to use okay um, all right let's go on to the next one in a second order reaction of A to give products what is the concentration of A after 55 seconds if the initial concentration is 0 0.80 and K is also given to us okay and again our equation to use is going to be 1 over this is the final is equal to 1 over original plus KT okay and so now in this case we are determining A the concentration of A so 1 over A which is after time t okay if you want you can write t over here okay after time t and the original concentration is given to us 0 0.80 molar plus k which is 0 0.023 per molar second and then time is given to us and time is 55 seconds okay so second seconds cancel out and so you do the calculation 1.25 plus 1.265 and 1 over a t is equal to 2.515 so concentration of a t is 0 0.40 molar and you can work your calculator wizards and do that yourself right because anyhow that's inverse Okay, so that is for a second order. Again, remember it's the equations, okay, that are the key things over here. All right. 